Hey guys, welcome back to Jurassic Collectibles. Exciting news, uh, we've got some new Papo 2018 figures on the horizon. This comes fresh from Everything Dinosaurs Twitter account. If you don't follow them, make sure you do, link is down below. But today, let's see what we've got in store. So first up, we have this. It's the Quetzalcoatlus from Papo. And I have to say, this looks absolutely incredible. Papo's pterosaurs are just really something to be marveled at, mainly because they tend to be smaller in size. So the detail is really packed in. And Papo's very good at making small, impressive, detailed models. This Quetzalcoatlus boasts an articulated jaw, as you can see by the little diagram down in the corner. And the detail on this thing just looks absolutely staggering. I love the downy fur going all the way along the neck and all over the back and arms. And I love the way the membranes of the wings look really, really fragile and thin. And they look almost bat-like in the way that they've been sculpted. And also I love the detail of the musculature in the shoulders as it connects with the torso. I can see that to take a look at this one close up is going to be a real joy. I also love the way this one's been art directed, the way that you've got this lovely stripe of like copper oxidized green going along the back of the neck, and then you've got this bright flash of orange on the crest. That combined with the way that they've seated the eye, and it's a really nice small fine looking eye, I just think Papo have really got their sculpts down to an art, and I really hope we see more of this in the future. I'm really looking forward to this one. And um, out of the three images that have been released today, um, I would actually say this is my favourite. So we're getting the favourite one out of the way right away. Uh, but yeah, just a really gorgeous looking figure. So yeah, thanks to Everything Dinosaur for sharing this one. Um, it looks absolutely incredible. Okay, so next up, probably one that um, our Jurassic Park fans will be interested in. Papo are doing a Compsognathus that looks very similar to what we saw in Jurassic Park, The Lost World. Uh, for me personally, it's about time Papo did one of these. Um, they've done a lot of Jurassic Park-esque figures, and their detail lends itself very well to the detail of the Stan Winston puppets. So it's really nice to see the Compi or Compsognathus. This one again has an articulated jaw. Looks like a very nice sculpt. Um, it looks a little bit bow-legged. Um, when I'm looking at it, um, I think uh, the Compsognathus we're used to seeing is maybe a little bit skinnier in the leg region, but I think they've just splayed it out as the pose. A really nicely detailed looking model. The paint job definitely looks very faithful, but like I say, just something about the legs and the proportions just feels a little bit off. Maybe the snout of the head feels a little bit short as well. But these are minor gripes, and I'm sure this is going to be a wonderful figure. We don't know the scales of the figures at this point, um, but I'd imagine this is going to be uh, fairly small just due to the fact that it's a Compsognathus and Papo are very good at doing small, detailed figures. I can't imagine this one being a really large figure, but if it is, you know, fantastic. So let's wait and see. I think Papo... With this one, what's going to stand out most is probably the paint job because they do really nice passes of weathering and colour. And this is one where there really is a lot of variation in the original Stan Winston Compsognathus. So I think uh, Papo are going to do a wonderful job with the paint job and bringing out all that sculpted detail. Okay, and the third and final 2018 Papo figure to expect is this one. It's the Acrocanthosaurus. Now, we have actually reviewed this one on the channel already. If you'd like to see the review for that one, link is down below. But you can see that we're going to get this wonderful new paint scheme for 2018. I have to say, I think I prefer this paint scheme. It looks really, not only naturalistic, but just really loud and striking. And um, yeah, just looks really, really incredible. I hope we get this level of detail. Sometimes the prototype figure doesn't quite match what we get on the shelves. But if Papo managed to match what they've got in this initial prototype, it just looks incredible. Seems to be inspired by um, by maybe aquatic uh, references. Maybe it looks like a like striped fish. 
and maybe um, cuttlefish. It looks very um, sort of under underwater looking, very aquatic. But I love the way it's been painted. I love the mix of colours. It's very earthy feeling at the same time. It doesn't feel too bright and colourful like the way that sometimes the Schleich figures are. Not to say I don't like Schleich figures. I love the Schleich range. They've got their own thing going on. But Papo tends to stick to more naturalistic earthy colours. And they've certainly done this with the Acrocanthosaurus. This one does have an articulated jaw as we already found out. And if you do want to see the review for the Acrocanthosaurus, then uh, check that out. Link is down below. They've also done this nice gradient on the legs going into these darker feet, which I always like when Papo do. It kind of makes the thing look like it's been sort of grubby and worn for years, so it's kind of the feet have got dirtier and dirtier as time has gone on. I just think it looks very naturalistic. So yeah, it's cool to see that as well. Okay guys, let me know what you think. Will you be picking up any of these 2018 Papo dinosaurs? If you haven't seen our other review, of the upcoming 2018 Papo Dinosaurs. Uh, check out the link down below. So that's six we've got already uh, to look forward to next year. And we will be reviewing all of them on Jurassic Collectibles. Okay guys, rate, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.